Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, he's gonna get me, he's gonna get me. Well, this sucks all the balls ever created in the world. Welcome back, my geeky guys and gals, to Subliminal Messages. I'm your host, Mask of What? What? I know it's not the real name of the game, you idiot. What do you mean? I can't do things like that. I mean, this is what I do for my... Okay. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I am really, really sorry. I'm Smoke. Welcome back to some Nautica, my geeky guys and gals. Apparently, I'm not allowed to do it, I think. Whoops. Anyway, if you've been following me on that old Twitter sphere over there, in that old nether region over there, you know, I know about the bug reports. You know, I suffered a little tiny little bit of a problem with my computer. Just to recap, in a very small little nutshell, I saw an advert, um, someone was wanting a new graphics card because theirs failed, and I thought, I didn't thought, I said it as well, I went, hey, I've got an old GTX 295, I, I'll let you sell that, and the guy says, yo, brilliant, hang on a minute, let me test it first, so I tested it, didn't work, Kara dead, so I thought, oh, well, never mind, so I put my graphics card back into my computer, but when I was swapping the graphics card out, I unplugged the power cable, just for my own safety's sake, and I'd probably imagine that the battery backup in the motherboard has died because when I plugged power back in, plugged everything else back in, switched the bugger on it didn't detect my RAID array for which my Windows is installed on and if you want to know what RAID arrays are, go and look up another tech channel because I'm not going to explain it, basically I've got two hard drives and whatever data is written on one gets ri uh, written to the other one to give me data backup in case one of them fails, but anyway because it didn't detect, uh, no, because the memory didn't back up because of the dead battery, my BIOS loaded the defaults and it didn't have the array set up, so it's tried to boot from one hard drive, and yet the Windows bootloader was saying, oh, hang on a minute, no, I was installed on a RAID array, this is wrong. So my Windows didn't boot, and I spent the whole weekend, literally, right now, it is five past 11 at night for me, on a Sunday night, I couldn't do any recording on Friday, I couldn't do any recording on Saturday because none of my repair attempts could get Windows back up and running and keeping everything the way it was before. So I had to reinstall Windows in order to fix that problem and obviously, obviously if you know that reinstalling Windows means I had to reinstall everything. So that was that. And then my games wouldn't work. I kept my all my Steam games on a completely separate hard drive altogether. So once I got Steam reinstalled, all I had to do was point it to the Steam library, which was already there. But they obviously weren't properly registered with Windows, even though the games are already downloaded. So half of them didn't work. So I tried another reinstall, and right now I'm downloading a couple of other games while I'm recording this. So we'll see how we go. But at least I'm recording this to at least get some content up so another bad thing as well is that Subnautica saves its games locally within the installation directory it doesn't save the save game in your my documents folder it doesn't save it in the registry it doesn't save it in the fucking app data folder it saves it in the installation directory which is in my technical opinion from building a computer system is the stupidest thing ever because Windows comes with its own uh, variables, so you could type in like percentage mark app data local, and it'll bring up the local um, a hidden app data local folder where a lot of things get saved for a load of games, or you could type in um, percentage mark my documents percentage mark all in one word and it bring up in my documents folder so you could just do that within the game code saying put your data put the save game data in my documents and that was that but I didn't know that so I deleted all my games which deleted my Subnautica save game when I finally reinstalled and got back to it I'm like where the fuck's my save game fucking hell so anyway 
I've spent a good seven hours now on this game, rebuilding as best as I could to what I was before, to get back to the same location I was before. So, I've got a slightly different base right now. So this is Geek Base Mark II. Same initial layout there. I'll tell you about that in a short while. Where's my camera gone? There we go. Now, on this, when I got through this, I was very, very incredibly lucky that I found the blueprints for the solar panels. Fucking awesome. So, they're running. Now, I've got the solar panels in the last one. No, that's, there's something different. Yeah, the terraformer, that's why that land's come up there. So, I've, I've got the terraform this time around now, which is this beast. Freaking awesome. So, I, I built that little land mass there to get the um, solar panels up as close as I can. Uh, what else have I got? Um, oh yeah, so I managed to build this little thing out here. Go down here, that's the moon pool where my little uh, Sparky is based. He's still, still got all the same colours as well, good old Sparky. Yeah, Sparky's ducked. Same colours and everything. I built the two lockers that I said I would do, plus I've labelled them as well, so... Um, Upgrades that I want to buy, uh, want to buy, want to that I want to build, that I've got no use from yet. They're going to go in there. The same for weapons. Nothing in there just yet because I'm crafted the torpedoes for that. So we've got that up and running. But one of my biggest things. Oh yeah, it's my first aid thing there as well. But one of my biggest things ever, which is a fucking awesome, and I didn't even know that this was in the game. Is this thing here? Fucking gives me water. It's a filtration machine. It fucking takes the water from out there, from out there, it separates the water and the salt. So it gives you salt and water. Look like that. You've got salt deposit and filtered water. You don't need it. Not for me anyway. I don't need to go out there looking for fucking salt deposits anymore. I just wait for this beast to make it for me. I swear, I am gonna marry this machine. I am. I mean, I'm so in love with this machine. I love it to bits. I am gonna marry the shit out of this. What's the future? It says Leo, you can do that. I mean, some kind of homo robo inter species relationship going on there. It's perfectly illegal! You haven't seen Futurama? Go and watch it! Amy and Bender. Don't say that's wrong as well. Don't fucking go protest out there! Jesus. So anyway, yeah. This makes me my salt and fresh water. So I put the salt in there. And I put water in there that I don't need. But another great thing why I love this machine so much is that... Uh, normal filtered water that you can make with um, air sex I think that gives you 20% or 30% water and um, thirst to quench it but bleached water that gives you 40 but this thing was well, this thing's got your big filtered water which is what it's called in here it gives you 50% fucking thirst quenchiness oh taste that beautiful water man oh, I love it so this base it's now self-sufficient. So I put the solar panels down there at first, which I did normally did do. And then while I'm trying to get some resource gathering done, I was able to find the blueprints for the terraformer, so I did that. Then I found that fucking gorgeous machine's blueprints. I found the blueprints for that. Oh, fucking hell. And you can't turn that thing off, so that's constantly hammering away at your power while it's making the while it's splitting the salt from the water. So, which is why I built the landmass over there and stuck a load of more solar panels on top to make sure that this base has got power. But you'll notice one thing straight away: no thermal vent. When I had to restart the game, I could not find this thermal vent for love nor money. By the time I did, which I put the beacon over there. I already had all this made up and had this bit up to here so there's none of that it was built up all to here there was no corridor going down there to the moon pool so I had pretty much half the built uh, base built already so I thought fuck it you know what I'm not gonna tear all this down just to relocate over there 
besides it's got all these solar panels as well which makes more than enough energy for me and I don't know why it keeps changing at the top for the maximum power to go from 400 to 425 I've sometimes had it as low as 300 for some daft reason but anyway so we got that but another freaking awesome thing that I found out I, well not found out but another uh, awesome thing I managed to dig up because if we go further down there, I finally found the um, the Mushroom Kingdom place, or the Mushroom Biomes. And in there, there were a ton of lithium. And not only that, a little bit further on, I found a shit ton of blueprints for the Cyclops. I found um, engine um, fragments, I found hull fragments, and bridge fragments. And it appears that you need three fragment types of three different um, types, uh, three parts of the Cyclops in order to make it. Get up there, men. So now... Thank you. So I can build a Cyclops once I've got enough resources for that. I need five plus steel ingots, three enamel glass, no, five enamel glass, two lubes, and a that's wiring kit. Plus steel's not going to be too bad. But enamel glass, that's going to be tricky, because I need the um, stalker teeth for that. But then again, I'm not sure yet if I want to actually build the Cyclops, because now that we can actually upgrade Sparky, and he's a lot more nippier as well, I ain't sure. I'm not sure about that. So in this one, I need to do the upgrades. I'm not... Uh, fra fragmented it. I've not uh, built any torpedoes this time around because I need something to stick on there to make a torpedo base. I thought I'll leave that until later. So what can what can we do? What can we do? Um, how does this certain stream pressure increase in safe depth by two hundred meters per module? I'm gonna have that. So I've got plastic ingot and a computer chip. I think I've got a plastic ingot. And what I've noticed when I've last time I played this game roughly September October time things that could be made then compared to the things that could be made now are so much more different like before these reinforcement panels you only needed a ton of um, titanium to build them now you need titanium and um, lithium same goes for the moon pool you added like, oh yeah I found the blueprints for that as well uh, I'll come on to that shortly that was in the mushroom kingdom um, for the moon pool, you, I think you need about six titanium, but now you needed titanium, lubricant, and advanced wiring kit or computer chip. I'm not too sure. They've changed the ingredients needed for the advanced stuff. So anyway, uh, yeah, plus steel ingot. What was the other one? Damn it! I'm going to go back. Computer chip. Okay. Oh, thank you. Got some more salt. Dink. So now that I can get my own salt on this as well, there's, there's no need for it to, to go out looking for it, and there is still need for salt, even though I don't need to make bleach anymore, because you need magnesium for something, which I don't know what I need that for just yet. Uh, computer chip in here. Nope, this one then. There we go. So I've been scaving all over the place. I've been farming a ton out of this place. Look at this quartz I've got. I've found a couple of crash powders as well. I've got one stalk of two. I've got all this coal in case I need up to make more computer chips. Get a shit ton of loot because there's a um, kelp forest somewhere over there. I have just been farming the shitums out of this. So let's go and make our pressure thingy. So we've got Dink for that. What else we're we gonna? Oh, uh, power efficiency and solar charge. That's what I'm gonna need. Computer chip. So I need two computer chips, quartz and titanium. I'm not gonna bother with storage. Um, no. Seam of torpedo system. When did I get? Oh. Magnetite! Shit, yeah, because I found some magnetite, so... Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I found magnetite, so I can uh, make the compass thing now for the top uh, for the top of the hood. 
Oh, man. There we go. So I don't know if there's going to be the same kind of upgrades for the Cyclops, which is why I just want to use this. So, stick you in there, and you in there. Torpedo system. 200. Oh, yes. Oh, man. There's a torpedo! Oh, time to make some! So, I think I've got to launch you before I can put the torpedoes in. So, let's try this first before I waste my time being an idiot. Just come out here. And uh, where you going? There you are. Uh, frame rate, can you just stop messing around? There we go. Oh, boy! It comes with two already? Oh, oh! I'm gonna put the other ones back. I'm gonna hunt me a leviathan, wherever the fuck they are. Also, I don't know whether if I, if I think I'm gonna extend the base out all the way over to the thermal vent. Oh, you know what? Um, how do I shoot? Torpedoes armed. Oh, you press one. Right, okay. No, 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 save it for the... I want the, the, the Leviathan. Yeah, because this is a long-ass way to the thermal vent. Yeah, I'm not going to extend all this way out. Just for some more energy. I'm not sure, because I, I still haven't found the blueprint for the thermal reactor. So, I'm not sure. I think what I might do, because I'm really decimating the fish population... Is I might build an aquarium because I don't know if it's, if they're gonna breed in the aquarium. Where's this little Leviathan fucker? Look at this. He's somewhere. But look at this. My energy is still at one hundred percent. Fucking awesome source. Oh, I hear you. Where are you, bad boy? He'll be fucking behind me, won't he? Oh, there you are. Come on. Whee! Shit. Come on. Can't. Oh, come on. Let me kill you. Come on. Oh, shit. No. Ah, ah fuck. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead! Get out of this! Shit! Ah, shit! What the fuck is that? What is that? Oh, shit. Sparky! Oh, hell. I lost Sparky. I thought it was all up, Red. Fuck it, I'm reloading. So, we now know that, um... Yeah, torpedoes don't work on the Leviathan. Are you dead? Are you, are you dead? I think you're dead. Rotten Reaper. Er, uh, Peeper. Rotten Reaper Peeper. Okay, never mind. You ain't edibles. So, yeah. Let's build me an aquarium. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, sticky. There we go. Uh, no, no. Yeah, there we go. Let's bring you out here. This is a large... I need four glass. Damn, that sucks ass. Okay, go and make some more glass. How do I put this thing down then? You go on the end? No. You just go on the floor? No. How how do you work? Um Did I just put you on a foundation? Hold on, let me just try and go up here. 
Because if it goes on a foundation, I want to be able to see my aquarium out from um, the base. No, you don't even go on there. Um, do you go inside? Have I got to build another room just to go inside? Okay, let's try this. Oh, for fuck's sake, I need some more titanium. I've got plenty of scrap. I've got enough space. Yeah, I've got enough space. Alright, equip. Oh, there we go. Sweet! So how do I put fishes in you, then? What, was the, what, what, is, oh, what does the blueprint say? Provides optimal conditions for flora and fauna. Add a hatch to enter. It says that on me for plants. Uh, so if I put a hatch on top. Do that, do that, put hatch on top. Nope, okay, maybe not. If I put a hatch out here. Yeah, okay. Let's put you there. Good grief, this is weird. Yeah! Oh, look, I can only put plants inside. Okay, you know what? If we can do a large one there, let's make some glass walls. Okay, quartz, 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 quartz. Glass, 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 and glass! Oh, I'm getting somewhere. I'm feeling good. I'm enjo I'm loving this. I fucking love that machine over there as well. I'm feeling good for this episode. I'm feeling good! I love you, man! That's freaking awesome sauce! Oh, I'm loving that. So if I pick up those plants, I can stick them in there. But what's the point of that? This part of the farming update? Oh, right, I need to go hunting for some more um, quartz now. Oh, it's getting night time as well. Well, get, get, yeah, get those ready. Ooh, quartz. Ow. Holy crap, there's a load of quartz around here. There's you, and there's you. Anymore. Nope, what's that? Oh, you're a salt deposit. Oh, I can remember the days when I used to look... For you, okay, I'm gone. <laughs> bye bye. Where's my there, Sparky? Sparky, come here. You defend me now, girl. What was that? It didn't sound. Oh, it was you. Where's you making all that ruckus? Can I kill you? Oh. No. Whoa! What the fuck? That was what the. That was my torpedo did. Like a great miniature black hole? Fuck it, that's nuts! Didn't kill it? What's the point of that then? Here we go, I found the lair of the mushroom kingdom now. Did it did did it did 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 okay. Hi, bye. So this was where all the light lithium was. No time to me, look, there's some there. Spadefish there, crashing into me. Some more lithium there, is he dead? No, yeah, he's taking one hit. Pad knock, though. <laughs> I think he's trying to shake it off. It's like, fucking out, what a drink, what a night that was. <laughs> Bioreactor, I don't need no bioreactor. Hey, hi, Storky. You're getting a little bit too close for comfort there. Actually, have you got a tooth on you that I could have? Now, I'll, I'll give you, um, like, a dollar for it. Or is it five dollars? I don't know. It's expensive teeth, man. Come on, give me a tooth. No, 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 no. Don't bite me. I'll shoot you. I'm... I will shoot you, boy. Stay back. All I want is a tooth. Actually. Oh. Well. There goes that scrap. <laughs> Off to his own little distant adventure somewhere. I just, you know, my frame rate is just taking all the hits right now. It's like as if someone's just fired a torpedo. At me. I am hearing a whole heap of new noises that I've never heard before. No, oh, that was you. 
Okay, I'll let you off. You've been in there before. Good grief, he sounds close. I was gonna save just in case. I need to eat men as well. Oh look, is that my magnetite? Right there. Fuck it. Oh shit. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's, it? Where's Sparky? Get that quick. There you. Right. Oh fucking hell. Let's go. I'm Gonzalo Onzo. Don't want to be near near you. Think I might need a little bit more magnetite. So let's just take this while I'm here, just in case, because you never know. Uranium. I don't want to build nuclear missiles. Oh hi! What are you doing there out of your cave so quickly? I'm gonna go this way. It's all right with you, fella. Yeah. That's fine. You just shout off what you've been doing last night with your missus over there. I don't care right now because I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go bye bye. Look at me. I am using Sparky and my energy is going up. Ah! It'd be great if there was an upgrade for the Cyclops that does exactly the same thing. That's weird. I mean, my Sparky, that jumped up out of the water and my guy took a breath. Were you, were you, were you, were you breathing in there, Argon? Yeah, look at the text description of it. Nuclear fission applications. Holy crap. As long as it's not, like, not going to give me radiation here. So, does this mean that the thermo uh, reactor is actually still available? Oh, and I've upgraded my tanks as well. I've got um, two high capacity tanks and a plasteel tank. I'm really not sure what the difference is between the two either because both tanks offer an extra 30 seconds of airtime in each tank. So I'm really not sure what the deal is with that, yo. Anyway, square area, where are you? Put glass in sight. Oh, I didn't fucking make the glass. Oh, I'm dumb. Ignore that. Also, if I fa sound nasally like Lois Griffin, it's because I've got a bit of a cold right now as well. I don't know which one of my lovely daughters gave it to me, but I've got the big old sniffles right now. I've got to be going to the toilet every half hour just to blow my dang nose. Ah, there we go, there's some quartz. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, he's gonna get me, he's gonna get me, he's gonna get me, he's gonna get me. Ow, oh, yeah, fucker. Yeah. Oh, fuck it, that's two of them. Ah, oh, shit, ah, oh, fuck. Shit, man. Ouchie. Well, you got some crash powder at least. Could you fuck off so I can get the titanium, please? Thank you. Well, scrap metal, but I can turn it into titanium. Here we go. Where's Sparky? There you are. Come on, fella. Get back home. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. And you're still at 100%. Oh, I love this upgrade. Whee! Okay. <laughs> Don't ever crash into the wall there. Hey, oh, look at that. There was some right next to my base all that time. And that's another th thing I've done as well because of the upgrade bench. I've got the flippers that can recharge the batteries in my um, inventory. So that would be really good for the welder. Ah, oh, look at that. I love it when my computer wife, Sassy Sasha, actually does something good enough for me and makes me a drink every time I come home. I'll let you off this time, Sassy Sasha. I love that girl. Sometimes she can be a bit of a pain in the ass because she never shuts up about calorie deficiency or some other um, fucking... Oh, shit, I can't even... Put it right? Ah, man. There we go. Right, so sticky. Oh, but I'm not going to be able to walk around it, though, am I? Because if I stick aquariums in here, and that fucking massive one's huge, I'm not going to be able to walk around it. Damn. I didn't think this one through. Got some more windows in here. So I've got, got more than enough hull strength, thanks to all the reinforcements I've put in. But I'm going to need some more glass and some more quartz. Ah, fucking hell. I, I, I get it, get it, get it. Shit. 
I like their sound though, but I hate when they come after me and blow up in my face hole. Ain't cool, bruh. Now what did your mum ever teach you about strangers? Isn't it a stranger is just a friend you haven't met? And you just go up and blow a fuck, blow yourself up in their face like it's the best thing in the world. Oh, you made some more salt. Thank you. I love that machine. I swear, I am going to marry the ass off of that thing. As soon as I've done my jobs in here, I'll, we're off to the wedding chapel. That'd be a great addition for this. Put a little wedding chapel in the base. Oh, look, there's some fucking quartz down there as well. Man, I am missing all the quartz. And we're good. And you see, look. If the smaller aquariums were in there, look how thick that is there. I bet we'll not have had the space to go around. That thing needs to be smaller. Anyway, we need to go find ourselves some live fish now. There we go. Bump! Sorry! Ooh. Oh wait, I needed them live anyway. What am I about? Fucking there's me going after live fish and I go and fucking run them over. Fly, Sparky! Fly! <laughs> and take a deep breath. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> That's the way I need to go. And it's so cool when you can leave your Seamoth out like that without having to recharge it. Freaking awesome. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so let's stick the boomers. Old dead boom. Hey, did it die? Oh, cause oh yeah, cause I ran one over, didn't I? Yeah. There we go. Now, finally, I knew how to put plants inside you. Hmm. Oh, I didn't cook the fucking dead boomer fish either. Well, might as well munch up since my health is a little bit down. Come on, Sparky. Oh, I realise why I got I called the, uh, the Seamoth Sparky as well. Because it came from the dead dog that I killed in um, Fallout 4. <laughs> I'm going to put some more torpedoes in here, but considering that the torpedoes don't really do all that much. I ain't going to bother. Okay, so we're there. We're cool. So let's save it. And we're done. Sweet. Okay, well, I'm going to end the part here, my geeky guys and gals. At least, there's not much progress done, but at least I managed to get done what I intended to do, which was upgrade the seam off and lose it, reload, and up... Uh, no, I upgraded it and then saved, so I didn't need to upgrade it again. So, no, it's all cool. Sparky's all safe now in his own little dog pen over there. And so we've got a couple of little aquariums going, so all we need now is just some flora and fauna. How we're going to get that, I don't know. And there should be some other things as well you can grow some of your own crops, but um, chances are thinking that you're going to need some blueprints for that. And you probably ain't going to find them unless you get really deep down into the old cave somewhere. So I think that's what I'm going to do for the next part is I'm going to build the Cyclops and see how deep she can actually go this time round. And then hopefully we might be able to get some more done. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, my geeky guys and guys. If you like it, smack the like button. If you don't, smack the dislike button. And, you know, at least come over for a drink because I've got some fresh water now anyway. But if you haven't already and you want to know when the next video is coming out, the subscribe button is over there. And I'll see you over in that next video. So bye-bye. For now. We're looking at tantalizers like, I don't want that crap over there. You can't reach him, man. So near, and so far away. Now it's going to get so much nearer. What the fuck? Go on, Gus. I sure hope you're still friendly with me, boy. Look at the fucking size of you! You see, I really do have a memory of a goldfish. Doing the fucking thumbs up like that. Should be like that. Ah, oh, this cold is driving me insane.